Google Sheets has a ton of AI features and most of them you can find in the Gemini menu to the right hand side. But one feature you may not know about is the AI function. And I've used the AI function to generate all my data here highlighted in blue. So I've categorized the data, I've done sentiment analysis, I've summarized and I've pulled out a response. And I've done this by using the AI function where you can just put in a prompt and then the range of data you want that prompt to act on. And this can summarize, categorize and generate text tailored to your data. So I'm just going to start off with the category here. What I want to do is equals AI. Then I'm going to put in my prompt and I'm going to say categorize the feedback using one of these options, performance, design or features. I can put in B2 here and that'll take in the feedback. And now based on that feedback, it's categorized all my columns. I can just drag that formula down. And as long as I have my references in there, it'll act on the feedback within that row. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rate this one to five. This is sentiment analysis. Again, I'm going to use B2 for the range and I can drag that down to get a star rating for all my rows. And this data can be really useful for analytics. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to summarize this. So to do that, I'm going to say summarize this review. And instead of adding an apostrophe with the range, I can just add the reference into the prompt. So I add an and symbol, then the cell I'm referencing, another and symbol, and then I can go back to quotes and I can continue the prompt. So I'm saying summarize this review, given the review for the following product, mentioning the product name, then another and symbol and the reference for the product name afterwards. And now I have a summary coming out exactly as I wanted because I'm able to give it the right context in the prompt by using Using the and symbol in the middle of the prompt. The last thing I'm going to do is craft an AI response to each of the feedbacks. For the response, I'm just going to ask for a response to the product review. I'm going to mention if the review is negative, mention you've passed this on to customer service. And what I can add here is I can just add a range, so apostrophe, and then a range of A2 to B2. And then it has the product name, it has the feedback and then it has crafted my response. Again, I can just grab this and I can drag it down. And then I have the responses to all my feedbacks in here. And you can see it's telling the customer it's passing on to customer service if the review was negative. The reason why I love this functionality is that it's inbuilt into the tool and we don't have to deal with parsing format out of a large language model, such as Markdown or something like that. You ask for exactly what you want, you get exactly what you want, and then you can continue this down the sheet as you get more input data. I hope you found this video useful. Follow for more Google Sheets tips.